Hi everyone. Um, so I'm going to try and explain how uh, you can install different versions of Redshift on different versions of Cinema 4D. So this is not using the Windows installer or the normal Maxim app. Um, you need to go onto their forum and download Windows Zero install zip package. Then you can put them whatever you want. Uh, I've unzipped them into the desktop and into this folder just for the sake of this demonstration. Uh, and uh, you have a few things that you have to do. First of all, you need to go inside of each one of the folders. So I'm going to use 3.505 and 3.067. Um, so go in to plugins, Cinema 4D, and first delete the versions that you won't be uh, using. So I'm only on 25 and 26, so I'm going to delete these folders. Next step, you just run this batch file. And uh, this batch file does everything for you regarding copying files and all of that. Next thing uh, you will need to add uh, into um, each one of these folders is an XML file. Uh, you can create an XML file just by going to uh, like create a text document and then renaming this to XML. Uh, and in this case, uh, you call it path config. Um, I'm gonna delete it now. So you need to put it inside of these folders. So 26 redshift and then you drag it here. I already have it here. Let's let's open it. So basically this will tell Cinema 4D where the redshift core path is, uh, where the plugin is. Um, so the plugin is, uh, in this case, this is my old path. So let's see where it is. Um, so if I, if I go out, you can see that uh, this is the path you, you should copy. So um, in my case, uh, users uh, am a Mr. Mario uh, desktop RS um, version and Redshift. So just copy this and, and put it there and save it. Okay, so let's go to the file again. Uh, it's here. So let's just copy it and put it on the other version. So you do this for all the versions that you have. Just put it next to Redshift C4D uh, X DL64. Um, okay, so this one is ready. Let's do that uh, to the neck to the previous version. So you do that, do this to all the versions uh, you have or you want to use. Just go to plugins, C4D, delete what you don't need. Run prepare C4D. Go inside, and uh, I still have it on the clipboard. Just copy this path config, but be sure that uh, this path config needs to have the right version here. You know, like the path needs to be correct, right? In this case, now we are on a different path, right? So it's 3.067. So let's just you know change it here by hand. And save it. Okay, so all the preparation we need to do in the folders, it's done. So now we're gonna create the batch file that decides what to run. So to start, let's run Redshift um, 3.5 with or, or like Cinema 4D 26 with the latest Redshift 3.5. Um, and I already have some batch files prepared here, so I'm going to open them. Uh, so what you have to do is just, I'm going to paste all of this into the um, description on the video. Um, so you make sure that the path that you put here is the patch where you have uh, the version that you want. In this case, you know, this in my case is the desktop, this one. And here you just add the version of cinema that you want to run. So in my case, 26, okay the executable inside of the 26 folder. So now if I run this, it should have 26. It's opening in the other monitor. Okay, so 
you need to change this to redshift and now you have you know all the lights and you know not the camera um, let's just create a cube here and see if this is working okay it's it's kind of slow because I'm recording cool just to make sure let's go to preferences and if you go to render redshift you can see 3.5.05 now let's do this for uh, for another version so let's run 26 with this older version okay so I'm going to create another one just press control drag uh, let me just rename this 67 just to keep it tidy okay and now if I open it I just need to come here and change this to 067 and now okay let's see okay you can already see that the icons are different let's go to preference preferences redshift and here we go so now I have this one that runs one version this one that runs another version and for 25 is the same right so I'm just calling uh, the the 25 executable and you know telling it to run or to just look into this folder for uh, a plugin you know so if I just run it Okay. Yeah, it's working perfectly. So now, uh, how do we create you know, something like this with an icon and everything? So uh, to do that, you need to create a shortcut of your batch file. So I'm going to right click and drag and I'll create a shortcut here. And now I can just, you know, delete this bat, you know, and it's just the name. And now I right click and I need to so we have the path to the batch file and I need to add something before uh, I don't know it by heart so I'm gonna just open this uh, and copy so this is what you need to put before apply and now you could just get an icon so I'm gonna just put this default one okay so if I run this, I will run 26 with the version, Redshift version 3 of 3067. And that's it. Uh, it's kind of pretty easy. Uh, so I think I was on the previous videos, I was not, uh, you know, kind of explaining it correctly. Please let me know if um, if you can't do it, uh, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, to help whenever you need.